hope you're ready to seize today, become a better player today, because that's what every day is about. And if we guarantee we're becoming a little bit better each day, you're gonna look back in a month, in a year, and you're gonna be blown away at the improvements you've made. It's all about consistency, it's all about momentum. So what I wanted to do in this video is actually show you guys what I'm going to do every morning for about the next month, and maybe a little bit longer than a month. And I just wanted to show you how I can take 10, 15 minutes every morning just to guarantee that I'm getting fitter, I'm getting sharper, and I'm moving in the right direction. Because although some days you have training, some days you do really well, there's other days where you're like super busy, you don't have any time to get your soccer in. So if you can just take this 10, 15 minute workout or morning ritual and do it every morning, you're gonna guarantee that you're always moving in the right direction. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come downstairs and I'm just gonna get a glass of water and I'm gonna drink a glass of water, some nice cold water. And after I drink this water, I'm going to go outside and I'm just gonna get this little workout in right away. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll meet you guys outside. So I drank my water, come outside with my ball, got my runners on, and I'm just gonna get this done as quickly as possible so I can get on with the rest of my day. But I'm gonna guarantee that I'm always moving in the right direction every single day. As soon as I get outside, the first thing I'm gonna do is just start jogging. I'm actually gonna jog around my block, a couple blocks, it's gonna take me about four minutes just to do this simple jog. But when I start my jog, I'm gonna do all my dynamic stretches. So your butt kicks, your high knees, some kicks, shuffles, do your groins. All those stretches you would normally do with your soccer team, you wanna do those, make sure you get nice and loose. As soon as you're done that, just start jogging. Every 30 seconds, I'm gonna go for a 10 second sprint. The first one might be a bit slower, but by the end, when I'm about coming back to my house, I'm gonna be going full out sprint for those 10 seconds. Jog for 30, sprint for 10. Jog for 30, sprint for 10. As soon as I get back to the house, right in front of my house, I am going to get the ball and I'm just going to do a little bit of ball work. I'm going to do those juggling exercises that you've seen in other videos. I'm going to do 25 touches on each part of my body and then I'm just going to do some basic footwork drills, some taps, some inside and outside and some rolling on the sole of my feet.
After that, I'm gonna do some speed and agility drills. And for me, these are the most important. When I do these consistently, I really notice a difference on the field. It's gonna improve your reaction time. You're gonna feel more explosive. You're not gonna feel so sluggish and heavy, and you're gonna to get to the ball before anyone else. So when I'm doing these drills, I'm just focusing on going as fast as I can, moving my feet as quickly as I can, and I'm only gonna do them for about 20 seconds. last part of this morning ritual is going to be some plyometrics and I'm just going to do 10 repetitions for each exercise but I'm going to try to jump as high as I can with every single rep. So that's the first time I did that and it was pretty tough. But I'm gonna do it for at least a month, probably a little longer than a month because I think my outdoor season actually starts in a month and a half. But I want you to do this with me, okay? Once you get in the rhythm, it's only gonna take you about 15 minutes. Just get up, get that glass of water, go outside right away, bang out that workout, become better, start yourself moving in the right direction first thing in the morning because you never know what's gonna go on with the rest of your day. Sometimes you get really busy, sometimes things come up and you don't have time to train. Okay, so stick with me. I'll do a recap or we'll redo this video in a month and a half and we'll see how I'm feeling then. If I look a little bit sharper, if I feel a bit, little bit fitter and I want you to do the same. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, please comment, please share this video with your friends and make sure you're subscribed. Whew. Make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> If you haven't already, I'll talk to you guys real soon.